What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun. In the last episode, we made the Golden Range and made it all the way to Boilban, where we came face to face with this interesting looking tree. It's a tree, but it almost looks like a oh, man. Let's quickly set that back. There we go. Help me, somebody. Okay, so this is a sentient tree. Also, it kind of looks like a person. He has two arms. He has a hair. Kind of looks like he has a little bit of a face, but very pixelated. And he has two. Oh god, he has a third leg. Ah, let's get out of here. Okay, that was really stupid. Um, all right, let's uh, start talking to people here. Something changed in that eruption. Now all sorts of strange creatures lurk in every forest mountain. Oh goody! So bad guys. Welcome to Billabin! Please just ignore that strange tree out front. Too many brave warriors have been sent to K K K Kalima. Kalima? I'm going with Kalima. Travels neat or Kalima, I believe, is the way I used to pronounce it as a kid. Uh, do you see that tree at the entrance? Yeah. She was once a man. He came to our village under a curse. His last words were that he had offended the sacred tree. Interesting. We ended up like this because of the Lady McCoy's foolishness. If she hadn't wanted to live like a queen. Oh god. So sounds like greed got the best of some people here, maybe. Uh, there's a town at the tip of Emil that people say uh, was built by the gods. A tower, sorry. Everyone calls it the lighthouse. That sounds important. Only great adepts get interested in the lighthouse of Emil. So interesting that this guy knows about adepts. Apparently that was a big secret veil, but here's someone right here that knows immediately. Uh, I hear a large group cross over the Goma Range heading towards Emil. That sounds kind of important, doesn't it? Lord, Lord McCoy has been quite frightened since the incidents. Is it true that mountain lake swelled on the other side of Goma? The sky was brilliant red that day. It was a beautiful sight. Ever since that tree, that man turned to a tree, everyone has been too scared going to the town's entrance. Yeah, that sounds about right. He begged for help as he turned to a tree, but no one would help him. Is that how all grown-ups are? That's pretty sad. Yeah, imagine that though. Imagine seeing like someone turn into a tree. Was right in front of him. what would you do? How would you help him? You can't really help him. Go try heading southeast from here. Nope. The road is blocked, so you might as well not even bother. Heard that they put up a massive barricade up. Huh. Where did these kids come from? Uh, the road to Kalima, Kalima is blocked now as per Lord McCoy's orders. No one would dare go after what happened last time. Huh, interesting. Alright, is that all I wanted to do out here? Oh, there's also a pot up here I'm gonna grab now. Let's peer into the well. The bottom of the well is not visible. It looks very deep. I don't know why. I always like, I'm always interested with the well. The well lore is. Oh, it's a garden herb! Alright, we can start exploring some of the houses here, starting with the inn. Right, if we get inside here, there we go. Hello, lady. Can't reach Kalima no matter how hard you try. So how, how is this going to work with Mind Read is before I actually get to this part in Let's Play, I'm actually going to go and Mind Read everyone ahead of time and then just kind of pick and choose from there. Uh, the old people at the top there actually didn't or forgot to Mind Read, so I decided to do it here. Grrr. Did you hear a sound? You heard it, right? Yes. I can't hear anything over the growling of my stomach. Dizzy with hunger. Just, just, because I don't want to talk to everyone and mind read everyone, because that'll just take way too long. Even just talking to everyone takes a long time, so... I think that big tree deep in the forest looks suspicious. Do you believe that tree spirit can curse a man? Well, I've seen it, kind of. I mean, I mind read it, so probably. It's hard not to believe. Have you seen that tree out front? No kidding. Now, we came in here because Lord McCoy was building his wife a palace. I wonder if they stopped because of the curse. That sounds right to me. Can't wait to see Teddy's special. Yippee! I'm really worried about... Klima, I, I was born there, you know. I can't even focus on my cooking. Uh, father, mother, I hope they're alright. I should go home and see them right away. Yeah, that's pretty sad. So cooking already. Hey, Mr. Head Chef, are you trying not to cook? Are you trying to cook or not? Because we're waiting. There's a few people I also like. I didn't want to, I didn't make a note to remind me of this guy. But, you know, <laughs> should I just forget that I'm a newcomer and just start cooking? If you want to, buddy. So there's a whole bunch of people in here, which I always thought was weird and crazy. Um, uh, in. Okay, I'm just making sure there's no stuff in here I need to grab. Curse on Kalima, what a scary development! Scary development indeed. He's an interesting looking spray. I always thought this guy looked a little weird. Uh, I've heard songs that tell an, of ancient trees developing strange powers. Maybe that power is what caused the curse! I think that's supposed to be singing since he seems to be a, a poet. It has been said that a fairy named Trent lives inside the holy tree. Uh, Tret, eh? 
Once Alone McCoy looking for work. I'm too scared to accept the job alone, though. Yeah, I'm getting a little scared hearing all these stories from the village. Yep. Uh, nothing. Okay, I keep thinking there's a lot of like boxes and pots and stuff here, so I keep assuming there's gonna be someone here. I think it actually be a good idea to sleep. It's now 21 coins to stay at the inn, which is a lot more <laughs> than before. I think it was like two or four coins at Vale, so you can see the upscaling going pretty quickly there. I don't think we ever stay at the inn in uh, Vault, did we? Maybe we did. Actually, I think we did, come to think of it. I am just a fool for your love. Uh, let's head in this house. Um, and this barrel should be. Antidotes, which uh, heals poison. Uh, the tree at the entrance is really a man cursed by the sacred tree. It's all because McCoy, the lord of this town, cut down all those trees. So it seems to be a lumberjack kind of town. McCoy had the trees cut down so he could build his wife a grand palace. Okay, or it's not a lumberjack town. And he, uh, the lord here is just trying to build his wife a palace. The snow is already piling up in Emil. And the weather is freezing. If I were you, I'd wait till spring to go up there. That's something that isn't really ever discussed about this game is when it takes place. It seems to take place right before winter, so in the late fall. I'm ready to wait to go to spring because you know, obviously, since they're talking. Um, bed for oh yeah, this is really interesting. One of the very rare times in the bed or game where you can check a bed and get a bomb. Weird. Uh, we rarely see any snow on Billabin. <laughs> interesting. When spring comes, I'm gonna go see that angelic Mia again. I don't know if I name someone. Probably means they're important. Also, note that like all the wood they use in this town, like they have the entire fence is made of wood. They have all these wood piles here, which I don't think as a kid I realized these are wood piles. I thought these are weird like uh, boxes or something. I don't know. Oh, I already talked to that lady. Uh, the item shop. All right, there's actually something interesting in here. There's only a few bookcases you actually can't reach. And I highly considered hacking my way to go see if it's anything interesting, but I didn't. It's probably a repeat of another bookcase, to be honest, of another okay, of another like area like Veil or something. But even the legendary water of Hermes cannot turn back time. If only, were, if only that there were a potion that could restore youth. I always thought that like, she's like cut off at like but even like she starts a sentence as if the, she like was I talked to her in the middle of a thought or something. Long ago, the lighthouse near Emil held the water of Hermes, a magical liquid that could heal all energies. Maybe I'm supposed to talk to this old guy first, I don't know. Could the water of Hermes save a man who would turn to a tree? Oh, maybe. That sounds kind of interesting, though. A wa the water of Hermes could heal people. You must be used to all types of danger, being travels on a Lord McCoy could use someone like you. Yeah, this sounds like something we need to solve, all right? I wish I had talked to her, because she actually has a new item. So we've seen herbs before, polish 50 HP, endodes cure poison, elixirs cure delusions, stun and sleep. And uh, Sacred Feather, this is a new item and also by far the most expensive item. 70 coins for one, reduces monster encounters. We're gonna buy one. Probably not gonna need, oh we actually bought, no way. Oh we just buy as much money as we have. Wow, that's actually kind of expensive, isn't it? <laughs> so we're just gonna buy one. Just to kind of test it out. I might buy some of this stuff later on, we shall see. Um, barrel top right, I believe there's something in here. Yep, there we go, ooh, a hard night, nice. So, in testing to find all this stuff, I typically don't actually pick them up, except the bed one. I knew I had to check the bed because I'm like, what is in this? So, uh, typically. Oh, interesting. Ivan actually is keeping up with Garrett and Isaac right now. Ivan is typically much more weaker than Garrett and Isaac, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this to him right now. I didn't see how much that increased it, to be honest. Uh, status. 33. Okay, so I believe you had 30 defense. Why are people doing a Klima? I'm, I've been worried. I know a guy had turned to a tree. I remember his clothes. That's kind of scary. Uh, is there anyone here I want to mind read? <laughs> no, there's not. Okay, see, stuff like that. It's like, maybe I should. it would have been taking probably less time to mind read people. I'm trying to stay organized, but it's kind of hard. Um, what do you guys have to say for yourselves? Have you heard of the ocean? Yes. Travel over the ocean to far, far away, you'll find another world. They say the world of misty darkness begins there. Misty darkness, hey? Oops, I didn't mean to talk to him again. The ocean is immense. You would want to sing if you ever saw the ocean. <laughs> if I could see another world if I were a little younger. There was an able healer in a village called Vale, but he is gone now. The world has never seen such a great healer. I actually don't know what this is in reference to. I've never known. It's weird. Okay, this guy sells weapons. Now if you go to artifacts, you must be a connoisseur if those caught your eyes. Um, my plan here is I want to use 
every single special weapon because each of them has uh, a, a, a release here, an unleash I should say. So I'm gonna quickly buy a magic rod. We'll start with this and we'll we'll switch out the weapons as well. Oh no, we can't we can't buy it yet. Oh crap, okay, we will sell some stuff then. By some stuff I mean we'll sell some stuff. I don't I think the challenge rod might also have an unleash. Should check that out. Oh, is that enough? I think <laughs> it's enough by like one coin. Oops. Um typically artifacts are special weapons, there's only typically only one of them in the game. Sometimes there are like some exceptions. Um, so we'll buy some magic rod. Oh, we still don't have enough! Are you kidding me? Oh crap, can we sell some other stuff? Oh, we could sell his bandit sword. Yeah, there we go. What, are, what rare stuff? How about 525 coins? So, for example, this thing's gonna actually show up again in the shop because, uh... In the artifact shop, I should say, because it's never... I, I never used it. I mean, I, it was a, it's a unique item. I mean, I did use it. Uh, here, here you go, Jug Cooper. Now I mean, boulder already! We actually have some more money since the bandit sword actually sold for a lot of money, honey. Uh, if we take a look in the normal shop, we'll see there's some upgrades here. Broadsword is a thousand coins a piece, which is insane. Hunter sword, which is also pretty good, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Ivan. That'd be great for Ivan. Whoa, that's actually a pretty big increase. I might want to invest in that. Battle axes. 52. Okay, so the hunter sword is actually better. Okay, right. We could buy it though, because we are on a bit of a budget here. Or we could buy one mace. That would be pretty nice for Isaac. Garrett needs it more though. Alright, we'll buy a mace. Boulder already! And a green game ticket. You do want to keep gathering these as you go along, so always always take up the, the time to take that. As for armor, we are not going to be able to get a whole lot here. I don't know if I'm going to grind for money off screen. New things include leather armor, uh, travel robe, bronze shields. Uh, open helm, and I believe that's it. I believe Ivan, yeah, Ivan can uh, wield a circlet. But wait, actually, there might be some stuff we could buy. Maybe. Not a whole lot, though. 180. No, there's nothing we could buy here. Alright, do we have a one cap? Oh, yeah, look at that. One cap is new then. Alright, well, can't really buy a whole lot in armor here, but that's okay. Uh, Alright, and then finally, the. Uh, did I check this? I did, right? Okay, there's an item in there. <clears throat> There's a snake in my boot. Please give me strength at times like these. I'm starting to feel that this is only the beginning. Oh yeah, I was also I've wanted to comment on this for a while. Does this guy not look like a Viking to you? Is that like was that blonde? Is that like extension? Is that like helmet hair? Like attached to the helmets? Like, he looks like a Viking. He looks like Thor or something, doesn't he? I don't know. <laughs> well, I turned to a tree someday too. How terrible. Alright, so. As per, like, pretty much every town, you will typically see a healer. Uh, you might be a, you might have eyed this interesting looking statue of a lady. I always thought this looked like a witch. It looks like she has, like, a witch's hat. She does not, though, especially when I move it. Also, there's a cave there. Should have pushed that another way. So if we crawl down here, we see an interesting little critter. But go, he's hidden warehouse. Do not enter. Well, it's not very hidden out, is it? So if we come over here, we'll see there's no way to get over there. Hopefully, there's a path to the right. And that leads to the path to the right. <clears throat> to right. You can use move on the statue, interestingly. However, you still can't get around. And you can't, like, pull into the water or anything. You can't push into the water. So there's actually... you got to find another way. Which is actually easier than... That's not where that statue was before, where I put it. Good lord. Also, Isaac's going to be pretty freaking strong to be able to move that gosh dang or thanger. <clears throat> Alright, but yeah, if we follow the fence up here, we will see there's some ivy up here. There we go. If we crawl down here, we'll see the solution to the puzzle has become clear. So, keep in mind what the statue looks like. I also only made this realization tonight when I was practicing. So, we'll grab this guy and... I mean, you probably already guessed he was Jin, Jinny. Jupiter, Jinny, Gus, Joint, Ivan. Okay, so this guy is a bit interesting. Um, I need to get my notes up first. There we go, Billabin, Gust. So, this guy, you don't fight him. Any Jin you find in a village, you do not have to fight. With the exception uh, being Flint, because you do find him in the world map, which if you did find a Jin, Jinny out there, you would have to fight it. This is a tutorial I didn't give it to you. That's why I had to fight Forge, because he was in a dungeon. But since Gust is technically in the town, you do not have to fight him. There is some weird exception to this sometimes, but typically not. Okay, so Gust does the following. Um, when you equip him, he does plus two attack and plus two agility. 
Uh, his, his normal attack, he does a normal attack damage plus 10%. He also has a 50% chance of doing double damage. And there's also a different animation when he does double damage, so that's interesting. But uh, without further ado, I think it's time. Head north of town here. Let's see what's, has, what's in store up here. Core's Palace! First start off seeing this nut. This is how, I guess nuts are just in trees like that, aren't they? It's weird, because it looks like- I feel like there should be an apple up there, plus this looks like a maple tree. Just have some guards here. This is a very nice- I always like thought this building looked really cool, by the way. Very pretty. Appeared to the well. Upon closer inspection, it seems the well's dried up. I wonder if that's a reference to the greed that these people seem to be doing here. People building this place and tearing down trees. Look at all this lumber. It really doesn't look like a whole lot, to be honest. <laughs> the lumber I ordered from Klima disappeared after the incident. Have you have you seen the barricade we built on the road to Kalima? Nope. It's off to the east. You want to see it? It was, it was a rush job, so, so I had to take some shortcuts. Some shortcuts, eh? But I didn't know Kalima was involved in that incident. If I had, I would have done it no matter what. And here is Lady McCoy. Actually, what those statues I was talking about to remember before, this is who those statues are modeled after, which I did not even realize that until just today. Uh, are you telling me that I'm responsible for this? Yes. Sure, I had them cut that tree down so I could build my palace. But if anyone was a victim, it's me! I've been waiting for my palace for months. I hate you. Freaking greedy ass. Look at her, look at the way she has her chin poked up at us like that. Also, is that. I guess that is purple hair, isn't it? I thought it was maybe like graying hair, just kind of look weird, but now it's definitely purple when you look at her sprite. The curse of that tree spirit is a foolish old superstition. I just want to live in a big palace. <sighs> she sucks, and I hate her. Lord McCoy is so upset about the curse that he can't even eat. The Lord will only meet with brave, brave and mighty warriors. You don't see the type. Do you think you're up to? Pfft, we're good. Mm, I see. You don't seem. You seem pretty confident. What do you say? You look a little young to get involved in this ugly mess. Nobody else seems up to the challenge, though. What do we have to lose? Uh, probably lives. All right, I shall let you pass. Follow me. McCoy is a very difficult man. Be careful how you act around him. Interesting. Lord McCoy would never hire anyone as puny as these kids. <laughs> well, they haven't talked to me yet. Alright. I always believe that uh, the old tree and Klima Force should be protected. I shouldn't have said anything when they were applying the new palace. I think I might have caused them to cut down the holy tree. Oh no. If you want to see Lord McCoy fall the red carpet. How many times do I have to tell them? Why won't they leave me alone? <laughs> I always thought that was funny. Uh, so we explore a bit here. See, this palace is actually decently sized. Go upstairs. I don't think there's actually anything here, right? Oh god. I'm just gonna check it. It'll be quicker than looking over my notes. Alright. Well, some of these rooms are empty, but a lot of them have people in as well. Ooh, I want! Let's me in! Let's me in! Let's me in! What do you think? This build was great treasures. Whoever ends the curse can claim these as their own. Oh my god, I want them. What good treasure. What a good is treasure if you get turned to a tree? <laughs> Flaunt their gold at us, but really, it's no good to me. Um, crap, a uh, bomb white staircase. Okay, so there's nothing in any of these, apparently. Really, there's nothing upstairs? Oh god, there has to be. There is, right? There is. I know there is. I knew it. I just gotta smoke Bob the Garrett. Bomb white staircase bear. Okay, yeah, that was. That was. Listen, my notes. It's just kind of a little bit weird. Bear on the right. Okay, I see. Cool, there's only one more item in here. Really? That seems wrong, too. I think it's this, is it? Alright, <laughs> when everything kind of looks the same here, things get a little bit complicated. Nothing here? Really? This is kind of weird. It's like when you're in between two barrels, like, I don't know what barrel I just checked. Did I check this one or the other one? Sorry, this is why I do notes. <laughs> so I don't have to individually check anything to make sure I didn't miss anything. Hmm, it seems the curse of the tree has not come to Billabin. Not yet, anyways. Want! Uh, I know there's somebody here. Oh, you're willing to go to Kalima Forest? I forget how many people Lord McCoy has hired to end the curse, and yet not a single warrior returns. Interesting how the guards outside said no one's up to the challenge. Make sure you don't offend Lord McCoy. Don't know why I gave you a manly voice. You should never have let such young children to the palace. I'll be the one to get yelled after they break an urn or something. Check this. We got an elixir, which heals delusion and such. <clears throat> 
Uh, there's nothing up here. You can see Kalima pretty well from here. On Sundays, Lord McCoy will come here and admire the view. Lord McCoy hasn't come here for some time. It's because of the curse, no doubt. I'd imagine so. I wish it, I wish you had like the option to take a look and see some like game art or something, but no, they don't want you to look. And finally, the central staircase here. Both lead to the same spot. This is Lady McCoy's room, so don't touch anything. All oh, the nerve coming to your palace unescorted. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. M Milady was renowned for far and wide for her beauty. This is why my lord is so anxious to please her, regardless of the cost. Oh, good lord. Will I ever find someone to make my lords come true like my lord did? Oh, someday I want to sleep in a silk nightgown like this. Oh no, the nightgown has a hole! Milady will be furious. You put it in there by touching it too much. Eyes appearing to the wardrobe. There's a silk negligi? Negligi? I don't know what that means. Isaac, put that back. It's like obviously a nightgown of sorts, I suppose. But... <clears throat> All right, let's go inside this final room here. And uh, read this. It's a sheet of paper titled "Sweetie's Gifts." It's a list of gifts Lord McCoy uh, has brought, bought his wife. It's pretty long. So the fact that it's called "Sweetie's Gifts" it reminds me of. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be very vague. If you watch my Star Fox Adventures Let's Play. The rock, the rock teleport warp stone. That's what he's called. He talks about sweets and stuff. And for some reason, I always, whenever I, whenever I, like, whenever he talks about sweets in Star Fox Adventures, I think of this game, this bookcase. Whenever I read this bookcase talking about sweetie gifts, I think of Star Fox Adventures. I don't know why. But uh, yeah. Without further ado, let's go. Oh, I didn't mean to go in there yet. I barely walked up to it. I was gonna do this next time. Damn it. <sighs> All right. Well, guess we're doing this now then. What's the matter then? Sir, some new worries have just arrived in the palace. New worries, you say? Also, I didn't comment on this, because I was going to comment on this before I came into this room. It's interesting that the Lord and Milady have different rooms. I don't know why, that's really weird. But yeah, that's a thing. I, although, I guess for all her beauty and such, maybe she doesn't want to sleep with this. New worries, you say? Sent many a men into Kalima Forest, but not the one has returned. These warriors, did you get a good look at him? Oh god, I had the accent for about half a second. <laughs> Come cl closer, laddie. Also, once again, as a kid, I totally thought he said lady. I was very offended. <laughs> I'm not a girl. Hey, are these the ones you were talking about? What about children? And you Expect me to believe you can save Kalima? Hmm. Well, I grant you a brave lot. <laughs> that noise, a jump noise. Here, this this kill get you past the barricades to the east. And changing again. It always changes my accent. Even with the keys, such wee lads as yourselves never reach Kalima. It's making fun of us, calling us children. Just irritating. Oh, you think Isaac? I mean, we are children, and also, I mean, he's just being cautious. So I, this does not irritate me. Are you serious, Isaac? It doesn't bother you? No. I mean, yes. I mean, it, oops. Are you serious, Isaac? It doesn't bother you? Yes. I'm serious. No. There we go. Well, don't let him get to you. We'll just have to prove we can handle this job, whatever it is. So you have decided to accept a little job. Ivan, you don't look too enthusiastic. That curse can turn a man to a tree. You think we stand a chance? What? Yeah, of course we do. You know we do, right, Isaac? I mean, we're the main protagonist. It's good, Ivan. Pfft, no worries. Well, if Isaac's going to, I guess I'm in too. At least we all agree on something. What troubles you, my lord? They seem willing enough. They call themselves warriors, but they're not but we children. Aye, these are desperate times, but I cannot, can I send such wee lads to the doom? No! Then what will happen to Kalima Forest? We can I give up hope on our other champions? It's turning to like a British thing now. But, but what about us? We can I send you into a certain doom? <laughs> I can't. It's, I can't do accents, man. I can't. Uh, what if we said we were going east anyway? You can go once things have settled down. 
But that means you're not gonna let us go? Ah, it's for your own good, lad. I didn't want well to talk about it anymore, Captain. I'm sorry, but you should leave now. God dang it! God dang it! Your name was Isaac? I'm sorry you were rejected. I never ever expected anything like this to happen to Bilibin. You promised me you will not go to Kalima? Of course I'm gonna go there. No, I'm not gonna promise you I won't go. You're persistent, aren't you? That barricade, you may not need a key. <gasps> Oops, I should have said anything. Well, I'm gonna go now. It's not if you did that on previous. The fact says, well, I guess I'm gonna go now. It's me to believe that he either has faith in us or he just wants the curse to be broken. Sorry, lads, but Kalima's future is best left to more experienced men. There's nothing more to talk about. Tell them to go. I don't care how often they return. So, being older now, I definitely understand why he does this. He's just looking out for her for her safety. We are kids. Like, it would be horrible to send kids to their death. Like that'd weigh a lot on your conscience. What a shame, huh? Guess you'll need to be a little older. You dick. I didn't think they'd let you go. You're you're too young. I can't I can't tell you anything else. I don't even ask. <laughs> the breaking is pretty shabby. It was rushed, you see? The engines on the barricade are quite noisy. They might break easily. Interesting. So it looks like we have a few options there. But anyways, this episode is super long. I'm going to end here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Did not mean to do that last conversation. We got swept up into it. Oops. Also, just, just before I forget about it, if you see it here, the ivy's regrown. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever noticed this. If you run to the very bottom here, you can actually see the entrance there and there's no ivy on it. A g -g 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 glitch. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll talk to you guys next time. We will all make our way. And see if we can deal with that barricade. Goodbye, everyone!